This video is sponsored by Get Solar. Imagine never paying for electricity ever again. That's exactly what I did by investing in solar panels to make my own electricity. We've been powering the AC, the lights, the heaters, tons of laptops, gaming consoles, completely free for two months now. I've always wanted to switch to solar because it's sustainable and Singapore is just so perfect for it with summer all year round. Plus, I really got roped into Mr. MKBHD's $0 electrical bill video. I have not paid for electricity in a year. But there were still so many unanswered questions. His video was about the Tesla solar roof. However, the only option we have here is regular solar panels. So how does that all work then? Are there warranties? Who is installing these system? I know this is gonna be an expensive project and it's gonna save me money somewhere down the line in the future, but exactly when is that? And by how much? And can we actually profit from this? Bottom line, I was happy with what I have today and I just didn't wanna incur any more costs by switching to solar. Well, I got all my questions answered and in this video, I'll walk you through my entire journey, how it works, the setup process, the meds, how we did it so affordably, and most importantly, was this all worth it? If you're new here, my name is Mindy, and on this channel, we explore smart home tech that make our lives better, and Sola is one of them. Let's dive in. So, how does it all work? This is the setup. We have installed 40 solar panels on this roof. This is an 18 kilowatt peak system, and the panels usually would generate electricity in the day. In the day, we use what we need and any extra power generated gets sold back into the grid. But if it rains and gets super cloudy, so the solar panels aren't generating enough electricity, we might need more energy. So in that case, we will draw power from the grid. And when the sun is down, we will automatically switch back to drawing from the grid as per usual. In an ideal world, we would have batteries storing all that extra energy. But right now, it's insanely expensive. If we actually take a look, a 10 kilowatt hour battery can set us back another 10K, which will make this solar panel system much less affordable and will actually take a longer time to see any savings. But hopefully, tech will improve and the prices will drop in the future. Nevertheless, this system will still make financial sense because we can actually sell back to the grid. So this is the system. Next, how do we go about getting this started? So there are a few routes. Option A, we have Tesla solar roof. This is very popular just because it's Tesla and it's actually quite sleek, but this is not available in Singapore and it can get very expensive because this actually involves removing all the current roof tiles that you have on your roof and replace them with solar roof tiles from Tesla. Option B, we have DIY. Basically, you source everything and handle the installation yourself. It might be cheaper, I'm not sure by how much, but I'm not an electrician. I have zero skills in roof works and it will just take up too much of my time, so not for me. Next, we have option C work with a solar panel company. And if you do a quick Google search, there's tons of them out there. Ideally, you want someone that can handle everything for you, but the tricky part is figuring out who to trust. For me, it was pretty straightforward. Get Solar reached out offering to partner up, but of course, I didn't just agree. I did my homework. I checked for rate flags, none so far. Their website was good, packed with so much information and FAQs about solar, making it very easy to learn, especially for beginners like me. How they work is that they pre-select the best panels and inverters, so I didn't have to spend hours doing all that research. They will also handle everything, installation, warranties, maintenance, paperwork, so it makes the process simpler for me. Plus, they offered rent-to-own solutions and even had a $0 upfront plan. But what really got me was their solar calculator completely free you just have to input your address answer a few questions and with that they can use google maps do some estimation and send me a whole proposal how much i'll save how much it will cost all of that in just five minutes and i'll leave a link below for you to check out and with all those numbers in the proposal i estimated will take about seven to eight years to break even. Now, for full transparency, this video is sponsored by Get Sola, so it's not a review, but just watch. By the end, you'll see why I'm so excited. Now, I went with their five-year rent-to-own plan. Yes, I am a paying customer. I paid 16K upfront, $300 monthly, and after five years, we will own the system. On the other hand, Get Sola is paying me to document this entire process and make this video. 
all the mats and the installations can be fact checked and my opinions are entirely my own. I'm just here to share with you what I've learned because I know this can be a very complicated process. So here was the rough timeline. First, the site check, Getsola came to inspect the rooftop, see where to place all the electrical stuff. Next is the planning and payment stage. We actually got a mock-up of where the inverter go. And once we agreed on everything, we signed the documents and made the payments. Then it's the installation. First, they built the scaffolding. Then they started mounting the frames, wiring the inverters, setting up all the electricals. And finally, they delivered the solar panels. There was a truck that came with a bunch of solar panels. This is where things get really interesting and fun because I got to see the huge solar panels right in front of my eyes. And this is the only time I will actually be able to see them without climbing up to the roof or using a drone. These are the tech that is going to generate electricity for us. They were actually bigger than I thought. You actually needed the truck to hoist the solar panels one at a time up to the roof. Now, once everything was installed, they helped me set up the app so that I could monitor everything on my phone. Next, the meter was changed to a bi-directional one, allowing us to both use and sell electricity to the grid. The system was then inspected and approved. Once that was done, I spent the whole of June and July monitoring the system and it has been pretty smooth. Any minor issues I had were quickly sorted out through the personalized WhatsApp group chat with GetSolar. They had really good customer service, which I appreciate. Now that everything is all set up, how do we know that it all works? Well, you can actually monitor the solar panel system in real time with the Fusion Solar app. Now the free version lets you see how much energy your solar panels produce, but we opted for the upgraded version, which tracks how much energy we actually consume. And it's surprisingly fun to watch. Let me show you around the app. Now this is your home screen. This is where you see the live energy data. This is how much it's going to the grid. This is how much you're actually consuming. There's also a little section here for environmental benefits. I'm not entirely sure how these numbers were calculated, but it's still nice to see that we're making an impact right on the home screen. Now, if you click into any one of this, you get into statistics. This is where it gets really interesting. You can view the data by day, month, year, or lifetime. There's also a graph here, which can be kind of tricky to understand at first. So let's toggle them on one at a time. First, the PV output. This is the light green line. It shows how much energy our panels are producing throughout the day. You'll see that it fluctuates through out due to things like clouds or rain. Now, if we toggle on dot green line, consumed from PV graph, you see that in the day, our solar panels are actually producing way more energy than we are using. So if we actually had a battery, you can store all that extra power for the night's use or during a rainy day. But since we do not have a battery, the excess energy gets sold back to the grid. Now, let's toggle the last graph total consumption graph. So at night, you see only the red line appearing because we are pulling energy from the grid. But during the day, you don't actually see the red line because the dark green line covers the red line. And that just means that all our energy is coming from solar panels, aka we are not using anything from the grid. And if we do see any red lines like this one, at 2.05, we're producing 2.92 kilowatt, but the house was using 3.66 kilowatt. And that means we had to draw 0.74 from the grid. And that is the rate line. So yep, this is how we read the graph. I have to say though, this is super addictive. At the start, I checked this app daily. There's just something so satisfying about watching your energy data in real time. Next, the maths question. After two months of living with solar, we have the bills here and we can finally answer the big questions. When do we actually break even? How much are we saving on electricity? Can we actually make a profit? Was switching to solar actually worth it? Now, thanks to the app, we know our energy consumption breakdown, but we've also got our monthly bills, which revealed some fun facts. Number one, our monthly energy bill actually decreased. 
because solar energy has been covering us in the day. Number two, we are officially selling energy back to the grid and that money goes straight into our utility account as a kind of credit that helps to offset things like our water bills. So right now, we are actually at zero dollars for our water bills and have $239 credited to our utility account. With all of that, we also know the rate that we are selling energy at. With this sell price, we can properly calculate our payback period. But here's where it gets very tricky. This sell price is called USAP and it fluctuates a lot. It changes every half hour based on supply and demand. In some months, it can be as high as 50 cents per kilowatt hour and plugging that number into our payback calculator, it shows we will break even in just for years. But then in other months, it drops to as low as 14 cents per kilowatt hour, which pushes our break even year to 11. So the question is, which number should we take? Well, to calculate something that is quite long term, like our payback period, we'll need a more stable figure, which is the more regulated rate from SP. With all these numbers, I built an Excel sheet that answers all our big questions. It will take us about seven years to break even pretty consistent to what we found at start. Now, without solar, we'll be spending about 2.7K a year, but with solar, our upfront costs are a little bit higher, but they decrease over time. And by year seven, the break-even year, we would have spent 18K altogether. And if all goes well, we should start making a profit at about year 15. For those who love the details and want to geek out the math with me, I'll link the Excel sheet along with a video tutorial about how I built it so you can do your own maths based on your own setup. Finally, was this all worth it? Based on the very smooth installation and the numbers I'm seeing, absolutely, 100% this is worth it. I didn't have to lift a finger other than clearing the space, watching the installations, signing the documents, and I am gonna save a lot of money in eight years time. So it makes sense financially and we get to switch to a more sustainable source of energy. Now, these were the questions that my parents had when I first introduced this whole system to them. And I think it will help some of you, especially if you're looking to get a system like this. So you know the questions to ask your solar panel companies. First, is there mess? Well, for me, I basically just had to clear up the storeroom to make space for the inverter and the sub DB box. But the team from Get Solar handled everything for us, including building the scaffolding, removing it, fixing any holes afterwards. So yeah, it was pretty smooth. Number two, there was a concern about roof leaks. Well, for us, none so far. Get Solar actually inspects the roof before installing solar panels. And if there's any roof leaks caused by the solar panels, the rent to own plans from Get Solar will cover any issues related to the solar systems. It's a peace of mind. Another question is what if we wanted to sell the house before the payment period ends? First, you can either finish the payment earlier or transfer the rent to own agreement to the new property owner at no extra cost. Another question was why why switch when I'm fine without solar panels now? Based on my calculations, without the solar panel system, we would be spending 3k a year and that number just increases forever. However, with solar, by year 2, we are down to spending $900 a year. And by year 6, we are making 2k a year. And by year 7, we break even. So the numbers made sense to me. Solar will not cost us more money by year seven. And the final question I had was, should we maybe wait for solar panels to get better, cheaper? Maybe, but the thing is, electricity prices are really unpredictable. During the 2022 energy crisis, prices spiked up to a high 54 cents. And if you had a solar panel system, you will be less affected by the price hikes since you actually do earn back some money by selling energy back to the grid. And finally, optimization. With a sustainable system like this, I wanted to optimize it as much as I can. So based on the app, we noticed that our system is generating the most amount of energy during noon. So we set up smart switches to help us turn on our heaters at noon. But the dream setup is really to install a battery so that we can fully go off grid, but that is just not possible yet. Another thing I thought about was switching to EV and charging it with 
solar energy that will save us some money on gas. If we had all of that, all my energy consumption will be from a completely sustainable source, the sun. And hey, if you want to see if solar is right for you but don't want to commit just yet, you can get a free online quote on Get Solar's website in less than 5 minutes. You can find this link in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, you definitely have to check out this one right here where we dive into how I built my perfect desk setup with zero cable clutter. I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more about solar panel systems. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Stay maintained, Cherry. Goodbye!